Situated in West Central Scotland, this city is the largest in the country. Today, we look at Glasgow, host of the 26th UN Climate Change Conference of Parties, COP26. Welcome to Earth from Space. Glasgow lies along both banks of the River Clyde, the ninth longest river in the United Kingdom and the third longest in Scotland. The city occupies much of the Lower Clyde Valley and its suburbs extend into the surrounding districts. Edinburgh, Scotland's capital, is located in Lothian, on the southern shore of the Firth of Forth. Both Edinburgh and Glasgow, along with Stirling and Dundee, lie in the central lowlands, where over half of Scotland's population lives. The Highlands is the largest region in Scotland, covering more than 25,600 square kilometres of land and is home to stunning scenery. It is divided in two parts. The Great Glen divides the Grampian Mountains to the southeast from the Northwest Highlands. The area is very sparsely populated, with many mountain ranges dominating the region, and includes the highest mountain in the British Isles, Ben Nevis, as well as the legendary Loch Ness. From the 31st of October to the 12th of November, the COP26 summit will take place in Glasgow, bringing together parties to accelerate action towards the goals of the Paris Agreement and the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change. As in previous years, ESA will have a strong presence at COP26. ESA's theme at COP26 will be taking the pulse of the planet from space and supporting climate action, which aims to demonstrate the role of ESA's missions and satellite data to strengthen our understanding of climate from space. This will support policymakers, society, businesses and communities to mitigate and adapt to a changing climate and develop resilience in support of the UNFCC Paris Agreement. During COP26, the much-anticipated documentary, which covers the ESA-led science expedition to the Gorner Glacier in Switzerland, will be released for the first time. The documentary follows ESA astronaut Luca Parmitano, along with Susanne Mecklenburg, head of ESA's climate office, and their scientific team, to one of the biggest ice masses in the Alps, the Gorner Glacier. Owing to its dramatic retreat, the glacier is one of the most extensively studied glaciers in the world. <laughs> 